No, so uh, I mean, uh, where there was this kind of vacuum of uh, like educational and research activity, uh, like people who wanted to make a quick buck came in and started uh, using it as a as a marketing tool uh, for like outside companies and so forth. So, so what what is your experience with that? Yeah, it, it, they did that, and they actually VR got VR was a tool. VR VR became a prop uh, to sell other things. You you get them excited to come in uh, to see VR, and many of these these agencies and companies that were associated with this you know these early labs, and 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 the VR first lab wasn't the only lab per se like it. It was, it was the only real lab, but there were others who had that lab title uh, in other institutions. Yeah. And um, yeah, you would bring people in for VR and you show them something like Richie's Plank and, and other, you know, very public, uh, publicly available yeah. things. And then you get them excited and you say, but, but, you know, that's really expensive. That's, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars. Let's sell you instead <laughs> a video or a 360 video, you know, or something much, yeah. much lower tech that they could put students on. And so the yeah. VR got just became it got a bad name because it, it yeah. just became this thing that you over promise, uh, but then really uh, just wouldn't be delivered or couldn't be delivered, you know. And it was yeah. always VR's fault. <laughs> yeah. So just to explain that that reference for people who don't know, uh, Richie's plank was um uh oh. <laughs> dark again. No, so Richie's Plank was an experience that uh, helped people come over their uh, their phobias related to heights. Uh, so it was kind of a, a proof of concept for uh, li like uh, the, the psychological benefits of VR. Like, but like people who didn't know anything about the technology didn't really understand how easy it is to do something like that. And, and they kind yeah. of uh, inflated uh, inflated the expense ridiculously. I mean, some people, yeah. some people profited from VR, but uh, but it ultimately it hurt the industry uh, in in Turkey, and so the lab didn't fulfill its original purpose, which was to promote yeah. sustainable development and and awareness of the industry. Yeah. It actually became kind of a hindrance and and something that still just just has I would say historically has somewhat of a, a drag. Uh, on the way the industry is perceived and has been adopted in Turkey, unfortunately. Okay. Okay. So uh, we 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 talked about uh, the honeymoon period where we're so we're, like thrilled to be a part of it, and then kind of lived in our like two-person bubble, like where we were like actively engaged in projects, and we were allowed to do that. One because we were foreigners and two because we both went to the same university which was a very good university uh at least within a uh, local context uh and like also we were productive like we were kind of like living proof that it was worth building this xr lab to begin with so uh, but like meanwhile all around us like things uh, didn't look so good so so uh, what what is the the kind of bright side uh, apart from our personal experience? Like what like what is the the, the positive that came from it? Uh, like outside of like whatever we did. Well, I would say that as the as the broader gaming industry in Turkey has developed okay. and has grown, we we do see a proper VR gaming industry in Turkey, and and almost in every case, they those developers and those artists do trace their, their origin in VR back to Bakhtashir University's VR First Lab. That, you know, generally yeah. speaking, that is the case. And yeah. um, I'm happy to see that, you know, because that those were people who they went against the professors who told them, don't waste your time with VR, make hyper casual. They really, in many cases, saw something in VR that they, they couldn't get in another medium, and they had an idea, and and they really wanted to go into that space. And we we have esports actually as well, yeah. also c coming out of that in VR. Yeah, no, that's true. Uh, we we did produce a lot of talent locally, and, and just for a reference, like uh, like the uh, I think CTO uh, of Rec Room also went to our university in Turkey. Like so. Yeah. Uh, so like uh, we, we do share that as well. So like uh, like people from Turkey do work, work in Rec Room. So uh, that that's something uh, that 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 people who live here are quite proud of. Uh, but 
Uh, yeah, just a, a tip for everyone here. If your professor ever tells you to go into hyper casual, uh, don't listen. They should never work again, that person. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I'm yeah. a little biased, but. I'm, but I'm no, not a huge yeah. fan, but but that's an aside. Hyper casual <laughs> is, a, is a conference for another day. Yeah, so. Um, so yeah, uh, like I agree with you. There, there has been some positive, and uh, there have been some good uh, individual cases as well. Like uh, I know people who have uh, used VR and like uh, yeah, published uh, published works, and then uh, I have a close friend who moved on to um, like the Boston area in the U.S. and is very active uh, within the uh, the research going on at M MIT, um, like uh, within XR. So. Uh, yeah, we do we do have those cases, but uh, but uh, just to kind of wrap up, yeah, like uh, these uh, XR labs, they exist as um, uh, they exist as the, the the only thing going in in VR at least uh, within this market because you cannot buy really anything uh, like anything as far as VR headsets within Turkey except for uh, funny enough uh, ESVR like. Like you can get a, a PSVR headset, but but that's it. Like like that's the only thing out there. And uh, and given the local currency, it is out of reach for the common man. So. Well, and yeah, not just the common man, but the but I mean companies. <laughs> you know, coming from the enterprise perspective, you yeah. know, companies look at one or two headsets as a major expense, and sure. you know, and and and. and not knowing when they're going to get it because of the delays bringing things in through imports it's um it's a big drag so yeah the the, the labs have this purpose this? even if they don't fulfill their 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 highest level objectives to to really create yeah. and foster or to make money they have this purpose of it they're at least accessible headsets and accessible technology and that's actually a real you know sad aspect from the, the, the XR specific side for COVID is that the labs are yeah. all closed. The labs and, and even the VR arcades, which also served a similar purpose oh, sure. of just increasing accessibility. So, you know, without the ability to buy your own headset for your home, these these labs are the lifeline locally to, to the broader uh, VR market and AR as well if we're talking about uh, headsets, you know, immersive AR. So, yeah, serve yeah. a very important purpose. Yeah, you bet. It's like, like uh, to, today I was looking at a list of shipping times for uh, for the index, <laughs> the yeah. Valve index, and uh, and they ship to Slovakia, for example. Uh, they ship to Slovakia uh, and uh, like a whole list of other uh, Baltic, like Eastern European countries. Uh, but Turkey? Uh, no, not Turkey. Sorry, no. Sorry, no Valve Index for you. Uh, and uh, like, I'm so disappointed when <laughs> I see things like that. It just, it just doesn't make sense that you would. I know to Slovakia. Sorry, right. sorry, nothing against Slovakia. Like, I've I've been to the train station. It's lovely. Uh, I mean, to put that in perspective, <laughs> I know of two Valve Indexes in Turkey. Yeah. And when I mention that, most people don't believe that there's one. Most people have right. never seen one, uh, and I've only seen one yeah. once, one afternoon. So, you know, just for example, it's just so difficult, um, particularly if you can't bring it in your suitcase now. So, I would just, yeah. you know, this is obviously the lowest level concern going on right now, but hopefully one day right. from a VR industry perspective, yeah, speak for yourself, it'll just be easier to get these. Speak for yourself, low level concern. It's a huge <laughs> concern. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, uh, no, we're, um, like, you can stay as long as you want. Uh, we'll, we'll open the floor for some questions, though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it, with your permission, Mike. All right, so let me, let me run up uh, and get the, the bean thing. Like, can they give you permission to speak? Oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Whoa! Like, someone said they were under the floor, and I feel sorry for you, but there's no way I can help you. And thank you for the uh, gift. That's taken care of. Oh, is that right? Okay. Why am I bouncing around? All right. Wait, wait, wait. Talking is taken away. Hold on. <laughs> Ants, where are you? Never you mind. I'm coming. Uh, I. All right. 
Oh, hey. Yeah, we have some celebrity here. Yeah, Taco is here. I love your lake house. Yeah, so uh, did, does anyone have some questions? I, I have a laser pointer. I'm not afraid to use it. <laughs> Wait, I think okay. we have Sarah's a couple sad. in the front. Oh, is that right? Uh, maybe I have to be on the other side of this barrier. Sarah, try speaking. Oh, wow, I'm falling to the floor. Yeah, 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 I do, I do. <laughs> What's going on? You know what? You know what? I may just delete everything. <laughs> wait, wait. Um, for the you can talk. Don't do that. <laughs> Sarah. I see. I saw the message that got on screen. Oh, is that right? Okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, this is about Rec Room itself. Are they okay. are the cre okay. are the creators and the devs soon? Uh, okay, my game is like. Uh, uh, devs and creators soon gonna add the like uh, streaming camera to PlayStation. Joker. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's the question for you. To announce. We have nothing to announce. Yeah. Okay, Nick. Yeah. Oh wait, I, I can't. I can't hear you. No, no. Uh, I mean, you sent a box that said talk about PSVR, and and do you still have a question about that? It was like uh, I've tried it a few times and it, uh, I loved it. I, I mean, I, I know that PSVR is actually the biggest uh, VR community out there, <laughs> like, and they're quite like underserved, like, like for that because like Facebook and Oculus get so much credit for uh, for what they do. Uh, but but actually, more people access VR through uh, PSVR than than any other headset. So so it's like a community I would like to get closer to. And if someone wants to send me a piece of VR, I would send a nice thank you card. <laughs> okay, yeah. Oh, I can't hear. Yeah, I don't really know what's going like, on. I think I broke it. There's a, uh, it. There is, but it's... Here, let's do I'm just going to delete this or move it. Try now. Oh, I, I, I left it up there. Hold on. <laughs> Stage. Okay. Uh, yes, I'm dirty yes. Right here. Yeah. Okay, now I can talk, so you can probably hear me now. Oh yeah, absolutely. Good. Okay, cool. So um, there's a lot of new people here <laughs> who may not be familiar with uh, what the uh, what the XR Lab is specifically. Could you give a kind of a, uh -huh. a, an update for people here who are just kind of jumping in for the last few minutes here? Just what what exactly is the XR Lab and what you guys are doing and what you're trying to accomplish? And who are okay. you? Okay. Uh, so, as for what XR Labs are, uh, they are uh, uh, like spaces generally uh, within universities uh, that uh, like just give access uh, generally to students uh, uh, for um, like VR and AR headsets, like uh, like VR and immersive uh, AR. Uh, but like how they like allocate. If that access uh, like really depends on the university and the people running it. So, um, like in short, if you are a student at that institution, maybe within a specific department, so like you can like have like access to VR and a network of people working uh, within VR or XR. Um, Got it. And, and, and that's it. Like it's just part of the uh, educational experience. Like as for what, what I'm doing personally, like uh, for myself, um, like I've been out of the lab for about a year now. Uh, like just because uh, before COVID hit, like I like I had my own VR headset and like I, I no longer had need for it. And then COVID hit and like prevented me from going. But at yeah. the same time, I teach like within the gaming department like a, a course on virtual world. So, so for example, like as homework, I told I told all my students to go to rec room and build something. Uh, oh, 
Oh, wow, there's one of my students there. Thanks for that. Hi, Esgi. <laughs> I got a question. Yeah, you, you said you don't think Hi. Justin Fury but, is going to be able to stand up against Conor McGregor on Flight Island. Um, why do you uh -huh. say... Oh, I'm, I'm in the wrong panel. No, 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 no. I can, I can answer that. He's taking performance-enhancing drugs. Everybody knows that, and he's going to crash. Yes. Who? Wait, who? Okay, yes. Connor or Dustin? Who, Dustin or Connor? You know. All right, go on, go on. I don't know. I don't know. I'm out. Rose Angel. Can you speak? <laughs> hey, Michael, did you have anything to add about the, uh, about XR Labs uh, typically? No, I think you covered it. They're not always universities. Okay. Sometimes they're governmental. Um, and some, they don't always work with students. Yeah. They also sometimes work with freelance developers and, uh, and entrepreneurs. Uh, that, that's true. I, I've also heard of, like, uh, like within the, um, like the, uh, the, 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 the virtual society, uh, I think their name was, like, they also tried to get opportunities to access the, this technology to, like, un underprivileged people, like, uh, just people, um, who don't have the same, uh, edu educational access and, and money that it would take. Like uh, trying to get them into educational programs, so, so yeah, it, it can yeah. be like NGOs as well. Like a few NGOs have taken it up, but uh, a large percentage would be uh, like, like uh, educational institutions, like universities and well-funded high schools.